pleasure that it can have different proportions. First, you have to love yourself. Enlightenment is a selfish way of life. Consecrate your home first. And do not get fooled by your own value. That only happens inside you. People, gods, and things you love are just tools. They are tools for your own love, which is always happening inside your own temple of flesh. The way it is, is not easy. Only then can you really love. Do not be fooled by love. Love is for those who deserve to be loved. Love can blind you. Love has many different dark sides. Love has many different negative aspects. As many as positive aspects. Love your brothers and your sisters. But do not fall in love with them. Fall in love for your own ascension and for what they incarnate. You can love more than one. Poor sick society. They try to make you love just one. Not even understand what love is about. They have distorted everything, and there's a reason for that. Love is sharing and caring, but love can be suicidal. Just look at the cross. Not at Yeshua, but at Judas. Love works in the opposite way of materialism. It is different from finance and the economy. When you give, you win. When you hold, you are losing. This species is a collective species, but not completely. The healthier state of social structure is being in cycles of not many more than the capacity of your mind. The opposite of love is not hate. Hate is another expression of love, a reaction. Hate is sharing and caring. The real antagonist of love is indifference, oblivion. To forget. Apathy. How many gods have been deluded by it? Love and the will is the higher form of love. It is how gods love. Love is a drug, not easy to find by the mind and always present for us. Love has been demonized by our culture, by them, and by different paths and misunderstandings too. Love is for the brave, 
Temples. Temples.